Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be doing another theory video about what might happen later in the season to do with mon -El and to do with Imra. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Supergirl videos later this year. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about something that was said in the last episode before we actually went on this break. So we've got about eight or nine weeks left until Supergirl actually returns. So in the episode, Monel actually explains to Jean and to us, the spectator, of his marriage and what actually happened. And he reveals to us that himself and Imra actually got married in order to forge an alliance between the people of Titan and the people of Earth. Because if you didn't catch a few episodes back, in the 25th century, I'm fairly certain, the Earth went through a level 3 extinction of history. So that meant a lot of people died and a lot of the history was wiped off the Earth. So there wasn't too many people still alive. And with the people who are actually left, it seemed like the Earth was primed for a takeover, and that's my inference due to what actually happened in the comics, because in the comics, Titan, the moon of Saturn, their ruling council actually took it upon themselves that Earth could be a potential target of conquest, and they sent some scouts over to Earth who actually ended up meeting Superboy, and although the Titanians in the comics cancelled their invasion plans, it seems to run parallel with what we've been told in Supergirl, so it seems like in the TV show with Titan and the planets who actually back them up, it seems like they were all ready to actually go into an all-out war with Earth at some point and take them over, considering obviously these planets want power. There is going to be wars, there is going to be planets trying to take over other planets. So mon -El and Imra actually get married in order to create the alliance that I previously talked about, as she was from a noble house on Titan. So if this marriage was to get cut up and they were to be divorced or they were to just break up with each other, what would happen? So this is what we're going to be talking about. So there would be an all-out war. You would have to presume if the ruling council of Titan actually got words that mon -El and Imra actually broke up, this would mean that their alliance is actually shattered. And so this comes into my theory. What happens if with this new news that Imra has been lying to mon -El and that mon -El was actually lying and that he's actually got feelings for Kara, what happens if they do end up breaking up? That means there's going to be an all-out battle. If the Titanians get word of that and the Earth would be primed for an invasion, considering they have no reason not to invade them now. And so with the Legion of Superheroes being in the future, you would have to presume we're going to visit their headquarters and some of the other members in the future sometime later the season considering they've been such a big thing in the back half of the season over the last five or six episodes. So you would have to presume we are actually going to explore what happens in the future. So my theory is that maybe nearer to the end of the season, maybe this will be in the last few episodes before the finale with Rain and the World Killers and everything like that. What happens if we go to the future and there is some sort of distress signal that has been sent out due to them getting word of say Mon and Imra actually getting broken up and this could actually lead down an avenue of us actually going to Titan and that is something that I'm really really interested in actually doing considering Imra's been such a big part of the season I would like to visit her family and her planet and where she was actually brought up see the telepathic powers of the people there and potentially Supergirl would have to go there with mon -El to actually broker this peace agreement so they don't go into all-out war in the future and this could link into the mission of how Imra and Brainiac 5 actually plan to come back in time because you would have to presume they made the disruption do this and make them actually come back in time on purpose in order to fulfill their mission in the past so they would have the ability to get back to the future with their ship. I'm sure there's something on the ship that Brainiac 5 has done to actually make the disruptions appear and so they are able to travel back to the future as easily as anything. Tell me what you think about this all-out war theory. Do you think it will happen in this season? I think there's definitely a high chance of it actually happening. Would you like to actually explore Titan like myself? I would really like to do that. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.